Have you ever wanted to learn how to skate like this? This? Or this? Stick around, I'll show you where everyone starts. Hi guys, it's Jada and welcome back to my channel. So many of you have left comments on my videos saying how much you wanted to learn how to skate after watching them. I have taught so many kids on public sessions to how to skate using USFS's curriculum and I could not say more about how useful the learn to skate curriculum is that is available to the public. Despite this PDF existing, there are not that many video resources of what these basic skills look like in a palatable way for people who are just wanting to know what is learning how to skate, what are the things that you need to know to learn basic skating. So I figured it'd be really fun to actually have a resource to have all the skills in Video. So we're going to start with Learn to Skate Basic 1 Adult. This is an adult skating channel. I'm an adult skater, so I'm going to do adult stuff. If you're looking for the basic, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. So please note that I'm not a certified coach. I have taught in a professional manner uh, people how to skate, but I am not certified by Learn to Skate or PSA to teach skating, and you should not use this as a replacement for proper figure skating instruction. Okay, so if you've ever wanted to learn how to do some skating without falling on your face, this is the video for you. So with that, enough talking, let's go. Number one, falling down and getting back up. The first thing we teach our skaters is how to fall and then how to get back up. You will not believe how often beginners get injured just because they don't fall correctly. And yes, there is a correct way to fall. To fall down, you want to bend your knees as much as possible to lower your center of gravity and make your butt heavy. Really think about making your butt heavy. A pro tip is try to land on one of your butt cheeks and thigh to avoid hitting your tailbone. Trust me, you don't want that bruise. To get back up, twist around to put both knees on the ice or one if you're a hot shot like me. Lift one leg up to a kneeling position and then you can either use both of your hands to push yourself up or if you need some support, you can put one hand on the ice to push off. Number two, forward marches. This is your first method of going forwards. When I teach this move, I tell my skaters to lift their knees to their chest to make sure that their feet lift up off the ice so that they avoid hitting that toe pick. Keep your chest up, look ahead of you, and not down to the ice or you will fall. Make sure that your arms are out in front of you. I'm sure you're like, but how do you move? So every time you lift your leg and put it down, you simulate what a real push does. But don't worry, we'll get to that later down the line. I just want you to focus on lifting your legs up and moving forward. Once you master this move, you can go on to the next move. Number three, two foot glide. Once you're zooming across the ice in your march, it's time to do a little glide and let the ice do the work. Take a few steps and hold your feet close and parallel. Notice how they're pretty close to each other. Try to keep them centered and don't lean on your edges too much. Wait, Jada, hold on, sorry. What are edges? So every ice blade has two edges. There's an inside edge and an outside edge. These edges let you move freely on the ice to do things like turns, spins, and even spirals. Okay, so now that we've figured out what edges are, let's test it out. Number four, forward swizzles. So this is a fun move and it really lets you feel how important knee bend is in skating. So for this, you wanna just put your feet in a V with your heels touching. Bend your knees a little bit and lean slightly forward with your arms out in front of you or to the side. I'm not doing that, sorry. Don't be like me. You're gonna feel like your feet are traveling away from you, so make sure you put a little weight in the back of your feet, so on your heels. Once your toes meet, you're gonna unbend your knees, so lift up, bring your feet back into that V position you started at, and then do it again. I still use these to warm up even today, even though it looks a little different. Number five, rocking horse. So you don't have to move too much for this one and it's pretty much the same thing as what we just did. You're gonna start it like a forward swizzle, but instead of moving your feet back to a new V, you're just gonna lean back, like your toes back, not your back back. You're just gonna lean back a little bit 
and go back to where you started. So this teaches you about weight shifting, which will be super helpful in the next level. And you don't want to move too much in this move. You just want to be able to lean forward a little bit and then lean backward a little bit while holding onto that inside edge. Number six, dip. Okay, so now you have two ways of moving forward. So pick your favorite, move into a two foot glide, and then send your booty way back behind you so that your head stays in the center of gravity. You don't have to dip all the way to 90 degrees overnight, but it does build important muscles. So you wanna try to bend as much as you can and strive to hit that 90 or below. And number seven, snowplow stop. This stumps every beginner skater. So you wanna start at the wall and practice scraping snow with your inside edges with your feet in that backwards pizza shape from rocking horse. Stand with a little bit of knee bend, not too much though. Let your ankles cave in just slightly and then push away from you into the inside of your feet. And if two feet is too hard, you can try doing it on one foot. I did one foot for a very long time before I ever got to two feet. I think it took me like six months in order to stop. And I know a lot of people felt the same way when they started skating as adults. Eventually, you can stop from a moving position without it being too scary. But understand that you don't want to start off abruptly stopping. You want to kind of just push in on the inside edges away from you and it's almost like a skid. And if you made it this far and everything in this video, congratulations, you now know how to complete adult basic one. Like I said before, I'm not a certified coach. I know how people instruct and I have instructed in a professional level before. However, um, I wanted people to know that this is what beginning skating looks like. You don't start off by doing fancy spins. This is all about edge control. And once you learn how to do all the basic things and you build those muscles, then you can move forward and do more advanced things. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please tune in for basic two next time and I will see you guys later. Bye.